Protesters are calling for two more Los Angeles City Council members to resign following a leaked recording in which the former council president can be heard making racist comments. Nori Martinez resigned from her post on Wednesday. News Nation correspondent Stephanie Haynes joins us now with the latest on that story. Good morning, Stephanie. Hey, good morning. Martina says she's resigning with a broken heart. She was the first Latina president of the council. She also served on that council for nine years. And after the tape came out, she said that she would step down from her leadership role as president and take a leave of absence, stopping short of actually resigning from office altogether. But that all changed last night. In a statement, she writes that she worked hard for her constituents and she, it was an honor. It was an honor for her to serve in the role. She also apologizes to her staff, writing in part, quote, I'm sorry that we're ending it in this way. This is no reflection on you. And I know you will all continue to do great work and fight for our district. Protesters took over last night's city council meeting in L.A. It forced the council to adjourn the meeting early. And for days, protesters have been camped out outside the council building. In that tape, former President Martinez can be heard making a racist remark about another council member's son who is black. She's also heard making racist comments comments about indigenous people. The other two council members heard on the tape are Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo, as well as labor leader Ron Herrera. He has resigned as well. And the discussion on that tape centered around redistricting, allegedly how to change the boundaries or sections of wards in L.A. that would benefit Latino voters. And now the attorney general of California says it will investigate. And the L.A. city attorney is now calling for an independent redistricting process. That vile conversation, that raises essential questions for all of us about whether the racism reflected in that discussion actually infected the actions in the redistricting process. The council itself could vote to replace Martinez's role as president, or they could hold a special election. But in the meantime, protesters are gearing up for tomorrow. That's when the council is going to try to resume these meetings that have been cut short over the past two nights because of protesters. As you said, they have been demanding that the other two council members also resign. Guys. Stephanie Haynes reporting live for us this morning. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.